This is something that uh, is a relatively new science uh, and um, uh, the role of the microglia, in particular with, uh, uh, with uh, sodium channel uh, mediated responses that we are studying in these days, is uh, primarily associated in particular in microglia, has been associated to environmental, uh, to environmental toxin. Uh, uh, there is a large evidence that, uh, and in particular in the last 10, uh, I would say in the last uh, 10, 15 months, uh, I would say just to say in the last two, three years, no more than actually two years, of the impact of the environmental toxicity and, uh, and the environmental pollu and pollution in general in uh, the onset of Alzheimer's disease. We initiated a series of studies uh, exploring the role of uh, neurotoxin, one well, neurotoxin that is called permethrin, uh, and uh, that is also commercially available. It is used uh, widely in the household. And uh, what we have been able to demonstrate is that uh, this compound is capable to cross the blood-brain barrier, basically this, uh, uh, this system that can keep the brain isolated from the peripheral um, invasion of uh, many different kinds of toxins from the periphery or actually for even from the immune system. And what have we been able to demonstrate that this uh, compound that uh, is commercially available as just a kind of pesticides uh, is capable to enter the brain, activate the microglia, and the most important thing, remember, as a, as a, as a part of what has been uh, um, of uh, the uh, current knowledge of the role of uh, the inflammatory response is what we call also inflammaging uh, that can, uh, can be activated, in particular in the microglia under certain circumstances. Um, in some way uh, um, link the infl peripheral inflammation with the central inflammation with neurotoxin and the activation of the microglia in the brain with, uh, uh, with this concept that is called inflammation basically because many of these inflammatory cascades are also uh, at risk but they become activated as a function of age and that is uh, actually the idea of the concept of inflammation and then once so we are going to have uh, the age and the environmental exposure of neurotoxin uh, that can become something that is a synergistically uh, probably highly complex uh, mechanism that uh, might eventually lead to an acceleration on neurodegenerative disease. And, uh, and as, as, as I said, age is the highest risk factor of the disease. And we know that aging is a factor that uh, influences inflammation through the inflammasome and uh, um, and uh, and there is also a kind of completely new science that very little is uh, that is but very little is known about it about the potential role of a, of a psychological stress or depression or uh, mental health in general that uh, appear to have a through different kind of mechanism the activation or actually the uh, I would say the uh, participation through indirect mechanism into these cascades that lead to inflammation, uh, merging in some way or, or trying to or, or explaining or giving some kind of justification of what we think about that could be the correlation of uh, environmental stress, environmental uh, pollution, and eventually aging as a multiple factor that once they are going to work together, they are going to lead to an acceleration of uh, age-related degenerative condition that is is also explain the reason why many degenerative conditions like Alzheimer's are mostly associated to, to age and uh, age is a risk factor for, uh, for them.